Let's think about cars for a moment. The car that you've had in mind was likely painted with your favorite color. The paint is not only there to make your car look pretty, but it has a more important purpose to prevent rusting. When iron and steel are exposed to oxygen and moisture, rusting will occur. Rusting describes the corrosion of iron and steel. The term corrosion is used to describe the breakdown of a metal when exposed to the environment. When we say a metal corrodes, we mean that it has reacted with water and oxygen from the environment to form their respective oxides. We can demonstrate this using a simple experiment. Place an iron nail in four test tubes. Fill one with regular tap water until the nail is submerged. Fill another with regular tap water and add half a spoonful of sodium chloride, regular table salt. Shake from side to side to ensure that sodium chloride fully dissolves. Fill the third test tube with recently boiled water and add a thin layer of oil. When we boil the water, we remove any dissolved oxygen, and the layer of oil prevents any oxygen from further dissolving. In the last test tube, add a spoonful of calcium chloride. Calcium chloride removes moisture or water. So in the first test tube, the nail is exposed to oxygen and moisture. In the second test tube, the nail is exposed to oxygen, moisture, and salt. So in the third test tube, the nail is only exposed to water. In the fourth test tube, the nail is exposed only to oxygen. Stopper all four test tubes with a rubber bung and let stand for a couple of days. You will find that the nails in the first and second test tubes have rusted. In particular, the nail in the second test tube has rusted more than the nail in the first test tube, and the rust has likely flaked off. You may see a reddish-brown precipitate at the bottom of these tubes. The nails in the third and fourth test tubes have not rusted. So what has happened here? The iron has undergone an oxidation reaction, forming hydrated iron trioxide or rust. Salt and acid act as a catalyst for this reaction, which is why the nail in the second test tube formed more rust than the nail in the first test tube. Rusting can be very costly if we have to constantly replace these items made of iron and steel. Rust can be prevented if we paint the areas exposed to oxygen and moisture. This is done on many bicycles and cars. Another method to prevent rust is by placing a layer of oil or grease. This is done on many bicycle chains. It helps lubricate the moving parts, which reduces friction and slows down the rusting process. Another way to prevent rusting is a sacrificial protection method called galvanizing. Have a look at this reactivity table. Zinc is more reactive than iron. When exposed to oxygen and moisture, zinc will corrode faster than iron. So if we put them together, zinc protects iron but is sacrificing itself, hence the term sacrificial protection. This method is applied to prevent rusting on ships. The oxidation of zinc can be described using this following equation. So besides preventing rusting, there is another advantage to this galvanizing process. The formed zinc oxide layer can be removed, and the freshly exposed zinc can corrode once again, thereby further protecting the iron or steel hull.